Hi everyone, my name is Richard Santoro and I welcome you to Third and Zen, the YouTube channel where every week I'm sharing a spiritual message to nourish ourselves, heart, mind, body, and soul. First, thank you for stopping by the channel. Thanks for checking out this video. I hope you're enjoying your early part of the summer. I hope you're taking the time to care for yourself in whatever way, shape, or form that, that you were in need right now. Um, if you feel like liking, subscribing, sharing the video, all that YouTube stuff, I'd appreciate it. But either way, I appreciate you stopping by. With that being said, let's all just take a very brief moment and just take a deep breath. Give ourselves permission to just be still, just be here in this present moment. Just be here now as best we can. Take another breath or two. Get relaxed. And let's get started with today's message, shall we? So I once canvassed a handful of people, asking them to encapsulate the most vital aspect of Christianity, of the Christian journey, of Christian spirituality, in just one word, just one word. Think about that for a moment. What one word would, would you use to encapsulate the Christian journey, Christianity, Christian spirituality? So a very common answer that I heard from people was love. Of course, love was very common. Uh, I also heard faith or hope quite a bit. Trust was mentioned. And of course, Jesus, the word Jesus was mentioned. There were some other unique words that popped up like future and others, which I thought was pretty cool. But there is one vital word, one vital aspect of our Christian life and our daily Christian or spiritual journey that I don't think jumps out when asked that type of question. And that word would be memory, memory. Or we could use the word remember, which I'll be using quite a bit. So memory or remember is such a, an important, but not often talked about concept and component of our Christian journey and a valuable tool in our spiritual toolbox, memory, remember. Yes, love, faith, hope, trust, others, future, service, charity, fellowship, Jesus. These are obviously all invaluable and integral, one word, profound, powerful concepts. But today, I want to assert and espouse the tremendous value and importance of our spiritual memory and the idea of remembering when it comes to our Christian or spiritual journey. It's an easy aspect to miss, so it's part of why I'm encouraging us with this idea today. So if you'll pardon this really, really bad unintentional phrasing and pun, I'm here to remind us to remember the value of memory, of our spiritual memory, and the value of remembering itself. Remembering where we have been helps us with remembering where we are presently and with where we are going, where we're headed. Remembering itself, remembering, is often cited in scripture and in Christian, Christian liturgy. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom, as the man on the cross uttered next to Jesus. As the man on the cross next to Jesus uttered to him. Do this in remembrance of me, as Jesus commanded during the Last Supper. Remember your baptism and be grateful, as is said during the renewals of baptism. Remembering also has such a massive value when it comes to our faith. Remembering our past struggles. Sorry, Bobby just almost jumped up on the thing, and there he goes. He was, I was waiting for him to knock it over, but he didn't. He didn't. Um, remembering our past struggles when putting our faith in God was rewarded. Remembering all that we have overcome so that the next time trials and tribulation and suffering enter our lives, we are stronger as we remember that we have made it through every single bad day that we have ever encountered and been through. Remembering so that each time 
we overcome suffering of any kind, we can learn valuable faith lessons and so that we can continue to have faith and be strong and not fall apart when challenging times do come along again. And remembering has such a supreme value when it comes to our love. When it comes to our love. Remembering valuable caregivers and teachers and guides. Remembering those who have loved us into being and those who have been there for us in our times of need. And part and parcel with that, remembering others who are in need of us and are in need of our love and who are in need of our care, and our empathy, and our understanding, and our attention. Remember. Now, let me pause here and address something, that, something that's really important to me in mentioning in this message. I know that many of us might not have the best memory, or might have real genuine memory issues. We Maybe sometimes we joke about it at times, about how forgetful we are, but I know that not having the best memory or having memory issues is real for many people. And I don't want in any way, shape, or form to dismiss that or be insensitive to that in a message where I'm encouraging us to use our memory as a vital tool in our spiritual journey, in our daily walk. I genuinely share this message with love and with understanding and with sensitivity and with empathy. So I also am sharing that, sharing this message today with, with maybe a little bit of, of practical, hands-on advice or encouragement when it comes to applying our memory as a valuable Christian tool as best we can. In short, when it comes to using our memory and remembering as a spiritual tool in our toolbox, maybe maybe we can write things down. Maybe we can write things down. Maybe that will help. And I'm not saying that as a, hey, you have a bad memory, you have memory issues, write stuff down. No, I don't mean it like that. I'm not trying to be insensitive in that way. But when it comes to our spiritual life, maybe with this particular area, if it would help any of us, maybe if we struggle with our memory, Perhaps we can write things down in order to make it as valuable a spiritual tool as I'm encouraging us to. Writing things down sometimes can help in this area. And in doing so, we also continue the tradition, the spiritual tradition of things like scripture, of writing things down in a spiritual nature, and so on and so forth. Let's be honest, the, the gospel writers remembered Jesus as best they could. They remembered him as a strong and loving and compassionate and kind and giving and amazing individual. And they shared that. They shared that and folks wrote that down so that all would remember. Those who knew him remembered Jesus' healings and his care and his sacrifices, and his profound teachings. And it was all written down so that all would be able to know it and remember. So maybe, you know, as we go forward in our spiritual journey, we can write things down in this area to help us. The author or authors of the Gospel of John, they looked at the troubled world around them. And they remember Jesus. And they wrote down Jesus' valuable lessons. And very importantly, the gospel ended with the words of Jesus. I will be with you always. Remember that. When we're dealing with loneliness or loss or tragedy, remember the words of Jesus. I will be with you always. When we're suffering, or in pain, or struggling, remember the words of Jesus. Peace to you. My peace I give to you. When we're stressed, or supremely challenged by life, or simply annoyed with whatever, remember the words of Jesus. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. 
remember as best we can. As we walk through this world on our daily journey, remember that, as my sister once shared with me around the time when I wrote this sermon, the beauty of creation is God's love letter sprawled out as a daily reminder of God's presence. I wrote that down so I wouldn't forget, so that I would remember as we remind ourselves, I'm sorry, as we find ourselves struggling with life, maybe we step outside. Maybe we go look at a barren tree and remember that its leaves eventually will bud and flower and grow back, as we see during the summer season when I'm recording this message. As we make our way through the dark times of our lives, we can go outside and we can go look at the night sky and remember that the sun is indeed still there giving off light and the dawn will indeed break and the sun will shine upon us once again. As we yearn for an ending to whatever pain we might be currently enduring, we can go maybe some of us if we're able, if we're near, we can go and look at the waves crashing on the shore or just think about them crashing on the shore. Remember that not one, not a one of those crashing waves are permanent, that each and every one of them pass and forever gone. Remember that. Remember every compliment, every good deed we feel or witness or receive or give. Remember every victory won. Remember every role model. Every lesson, hard-earned or not, every triumph. Remember every beautiful soul we have ever encountered in our lives. Remember dogs and cats and laughter and fun times or whatever it is that brings you joy. Remember all of these things and be grateful. Remember how patient God has been with us and remember to do likewise with one another and with ourselves. Remember that we make mistakes and we are fallible and remember to be kind and forgiving to ourselves and to one another. Remember that there is no sin that we can ever commit that God cannot and will not forgive. Remember that no person, none of us, is beyond redemption. No person, none of us, is lost who cannot be found. No person, none of us, should be thought of as without value or beyond hope. Remember that for ourselves, for yourself and be grateful. Remember that for others, and be charitable, and merciful, and loving. Remember to see the best in people, to give people the benefit of the doubt, and to follow Jesus's command to love one another, and to love as he loved. Again, his command to do so. Remember one night, when the disciples were being tossed in a ship during a storm at sea, as scripture says, and they were terrified. And remember that Jesus calmly said to them, take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. And remember that in that moment, as scripture says, that Jesus commanded Peter to come to him, to get out of the boat and walk on water and come to Jesus, who again was also walking on water. And remember, that Peter, as scripture says, did go to him. And remember that Peter, as scripture says, walked on water. Amazing. Remember that when Peter noticed the waves around himself, as scripture says, Peter began to sink. Again, when he noticed the waves and the storm and the scary rumble around him. But remember, as scripture says, when Peter fearfully cried out to Jesus, Lord, save me, remember that, as Scripture says, Jesus did not hesitate, not for a moment. Remember that, as Scripture says, that Jesus immediately 
The word immediately is used. Immediately grabbed Peter's hand, and Jesus saved Peter. He saved him. Remember that story. And remember again, my friends, as I have tried so many times, well, not try, but as I have said over and over again on this channel, remember that do not be afraid is the most oft-repeated phrase in all of Scripture. Remember, do not be afraid. Remember, the Lord is my shepherd. Remember, he leads me beside still waters. My friends, our memory is such a valuable and invaluable and beautiful part of our Christian and spiritual journey. Such a wonderful piece of our life's mosaic. And as much of a part of our beautiful tapestry as the other pillars of our spiritual and Christian existence, such as love, faith, and hope. I encourage all of us to embrace our memories and as best as we can, remember all that God has given to us and be grateful. I encourage all of us to remember the beauty and the goodness and the amazingness of life and the amazing people that really truly do exist in this world and be grateful. I encourage all of us, if we are currently struggling in any way or when life does kick us yet again, to remember all that we have overcome with faith and with God's grace and with God's mercy and with God's love and with all that, remember and be grateful and as best we can to take heart and hopefully be strengthened and filled with hope. And I encourage all of us as we move forward in our spiritual journey and our daily journey to remember to make the word remember a valuable action in our spiritual walk through this world as best we can. And when that is a challenge for us, when that is a challenge for you, or when life itself is a challenge, please, my beloved friends, remember the words of Jesus. I will be with you always. Remember that. Maybe even write it down if you have to. But remember that. Thanks be to God. Okay, my friends, again, I want to thank you for stopping by the video. Uh, thank you for stopping by the channel. I want to thank you for checking out today's video. I wish you peace, love, and fellowship with God on your journey going forward. Have a great day. Have a great week. I love you all. Ciao, ciao.